Hello. I'm Patrick Bain, and we're here in Thousand Island Secondary School in Brockville, Ontario, in Mr. Brent Robiard's Grade 11 English class. <laughs> but I can do the Irish very yes, well. Yes, I end up sounding Irish. Uh, Irish is good. Irish, Irish is just fine. Yeah. Okay. You want to do Irish? That's just Hi, my name is Brent Robiard. I'm 32 years old, and I'm an English teacher at Thousand Island Secondary School, and have been for the last three years. I like. I am afraid they have the Grade 11 English class is a university stream English class, and so we always like to take a look at Shakespeare because it's something that they'll definitely encounter in their university years. I'm going to give you guys about 10 minutes to sort of prep yourselves. I'll take out the props, take a gander at what you can put on, and the rest of you, would you please just take a look at the scene? I like to have the kids stand up. I like to have them act out. I like to have them even in the most uh, bare of costumes, just so that there are signifiers. I heard the owls scream and the crickets cry. Did you not speak? When? Now! Kids are afraid of Shakespeare. Kids are afraid of poetry. Kids are afraid of things that they're not exposed to on an everyday basis. So when they come in here, I want them to think that it's going to be a fun experience, first and foremost, and that the fact that it's Shakespeare is only, is only secondary. So I want them to come in and just have a good time. Okay, are we ready? No, we're not ready. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, too bad for you because you're going. Okay, <laughs> Act Two, Scene One. Get to the front of the classroom now, before I give you a taste of my broadsword. All right. <laughs> my name is Caroline Bergeron, and I'm one of the French teachers here at Thousand Island Secondary School. And Brent is my partner in life, and I nominated him because he's by far the most creative and caring teacher I know. The kids love him because he's just himself. He doesn't pretend to have all the knowledge in the world. He just, you know, can talk their language. It's wonderful because we work in the same department. And so, because he's so creative, he will even give me ideas for my own classes. Well, I'm a writer, um, as well as being a teacher. This is my first novel. It's uh, called Leaving Wyoming, and essentially it's about a fictional member of the Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid uh, train robbing syndicate. It's a little bit about uh, his life um, and about how he would like to leave that life behind and perhaps uh, pursue a more noble existence. It seems to Wyoming, as he stands before her altar of books, their special place in the cabin, that the right book might have a story like his story, that maybe this has happened before. And suddenly, he would like very much to have that book, to be able to read the next page. I like to teach literature but I really love to teach writing. Certainly in a class like Writer's Craft, where the kids are all the time conscious that I'm a writer, a practicing writer, like I'm hoping that they will be, certainly it lends uh, a degree of credibility. In the grade 12 class, we will be reading Animal Farm. And of course, before you embark upon a story like that, you need to know the background of the situation. You see the rockets on the board? And of course, you see the flag of our most beloved mother nation, Soviet Russia. I am dressed up, of course, as uh, Joseph Stalin, and we have our three different factories, uh, our Soviets, and we have uh, our comrades uh, at work. Just excellent. He's doing a really good job. I like his hat with the little star there and stuff. He keeps it interesting. How enthusiastic he is about it, it kind of it feeds off of him and not into other people. We have the all-benevolent KGB. I'm not sure that there's any secret to teaching. I think some people are good at it, some people learn to be good at it, but if you can come into the classroom and just be yourself, then the kids, I think, buy into you much more readily. We have revolution, please. I say power to the people. You guys are all working like slaves. <laughs> Remove this man who does not exist. 